I welcome all of you to this Informatica 9 ETL Data Warehouse Developer class conducted by IT Dimension SS. Hope you will learn more about data warehousing ETL business intelligence from this class that we are going to conduct. This is the first session in this series. I muted all of you guys to avoid any disturbance in our class. You can ask your questions in the chat window or you can ask me to unmute you. So before beginning the course, some of you are new here, some of them are not because they already contacted us before and we already sent them the required documents, notes, databases, softwares, etc. Hope they got it and downloaded into their computer. They know how this course goes and how we are going to learn it for the new people. Let me give you an idea about how we are going to conduct these sessions online. In this course by IT Dimensions, we are concentrating on ETL development by using Informatica Power Center version 9. This is an online training and in this class we are going to cover the basics of Informatica Power Center 9 and data warehousing basics. Before we begin the class, I have been in this industry, IT industry for so many years working with different technologies, namely the technologies, business intelligence reporting, data warehousing, databases, virtualization technologies, administrating operating systems, content management systems and CRM technologies. I handle different databases like Oracle, Teradata, DB2 SQL Server. In the area of virtualization, I used to work with Proxmox, Hypervisor and VMware. I already worked as a Linux administrator, worked with different data warehousing tools, ETL tools, especially with Informatica and data stage. In business intelligence reporting, I used and worked with Cognos, business objects, XLCS and crystal reports also work with CRM, Salesforce and some content management systems work in top MNCs both in the United States and India now working as a consultant and talent evaluator conducting interviews recruiting candidates to companies in the United States I'm an online trainer for last five years conducting training in different areas of IT industry teaching databases, Linux, Salesforce, CMS systems, data warehousing, and business and learning reporting. I have worked with many domains, including telecommunication, banking, and healthcare. Now, the prerequisites for our course are, absolutely, we don't have any prerequisites because most of the prerequisites that we are going to give you in this class itself. So if you want to become a data warehouse developer, ETL developer, especially in Informatica, you must know some of the other areas of IT industry like Linux systems, SQL, databases, the basic concept of reporting and data warehouse. If you already know this concept, that's going to help you a lot. But if you don't have this knowledge, we will be giving you as much as possible while we go through the course. We will give you business intelligence reporting and data warehouse basic concept and the latest technologies and current trends. We will be dealing with four databases while we study Informatica in our daily classes. So you will get to know all these separate databases like Oracle, Teradata, SQL Server and DB2. We will give you an idea of SQL and PL SQL. Informatica ETL developer must know SQL and PL SQL, especially while a developer need to do performance tuning. This is very important to know SQL and PL SQL. We will give you the necessary SQL and PL SQL. Knowledge about Linux operating system is 
another important factor while you go for job because most of the servers they'll be using Unix or Linux systems. We will be giving you an idea of this operating system. We will teach you how to do Unix shell scripting because developers know what is Unix shell scripting is and how we can run workflows or sessions in Informatica to do the ETL job by using this shell scripting or any third party tool. Nowadays people are using Visio to edit to design mappings rather than directly using the Informatica designer. So we will try to give you an idea of Microsoft Visio also. Administration and performance learning is another section that we are going to deal with. Only a developer who knows about administration, he can perfectly tune the Informatica system. If he don't know how to administrate the system, he won't be able to do a, a very good performance tuning of the ETL system and mapping. So we will give you an idea about administrating the system and a lot of performance tuning options are covered. Not only by explaining, we will demonstrate and you will do a lot of performance tuning while we are attending this course. The training method that we are going to follow is online training and we will be using Webex or TeamViewer. So you must have a high speed internet connection. You can use your desktop, laptop, tablet or smartphone. And if you are using your tablet or smartphone, you must install the respective app for Webex or TeamViewer. You can use HTC, iPhone, Android phone, tablets if you have. All the softwares 